everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Jamie Lee and I'm a mixed media artist and here on my channel I do time-lapse art videos I do videos about art supplies and I also do some kind of offbeat videos about the art world and conspiracy theories Mandela effects haunted art that type of thing today's video is going to be a light box drawing I did one of these videos last year when I first got my light box and I will link that so that you can take a look at that one if you'd like. I noticed that video had a fair bit of views so I figured I would do a new light box drawing. So I have here my light box and my supplies. My dog sounds like a small pig. I don't know what's going on. I can't get her to stop snorting. So if you hear snorting again, like every single video, that is my tiny dog. When I talk about a light box, I mean this right here. It is just literally a plastic box that has a light inside and you turn the light on and you place your drawing or photo over it and then you can trace using the light, it'll shine through. And I used this last time on a photo of my daughter and so this time I found another photo this is a photo of my daughter and our boxer and I'm going to use this photo as my light box drawing. In order to do this, really all you need is some regular drawing paper. I have been using this right here. It is 9 by 12 70 pound heavy sketch paper and the reason I like this is because for the light box it really helps if you can take a single sheet of paper like I have here, this is the one I'm going to use, and use it, and then once you're done with it, if you have something like this, you can put it actually back inside your sketchbook so that it keeps it safe and, you know, it doesn't get lost or torn or bent or anything like that because the little tabs right here, you can just stick them right back on the spiral that's on the sketchbook, and so all the drawings that you've done you can put back in here and keep them safe until you you know decide what you're wanting to do with them so I have my paper that I've taken out I have my reference photo that I want to use the other items that I use when I do a light box drawing I have a mechanical pencil this one's very small it's really good for details and then I'm also um, I don't have them in front of me right now but I'm probably also going to grab some regular sketch pencils I have my gum eraser. This is really great for pulling up the pencil in places to make it really bright but not going through your paper or pulling up parts of the paper that will make those little pills on your drawings which um, is really frustrating if you've done a really nice drawing and then you go to try to erase it and the paper pills up. So this is a really good forgiving eraser just for kind of touching up spots and light erasing. I also have these eraser pencils and for like little detail areas where you really want to pull up some pencil and leave it pretty bright. These are good because they have a pencil tip to them but it's an eraser. And then I have the tortillions. I think that's how you say them. But they're little wrapped pieces of paper and you just use them to soften the graphite or pencil on your drawing and I have a couple of different sizes here that I can use like I said I'm also going to grab some other pencils and just in case I have a q-tip um, good household q-tips are awesome for a lot of different art uses I keep a bunch of these on my desk so I can grab them if I need them and so that's all I'm using today and let's go ahead and get started with the drawing so here is my light box and that is how bright it is when you turn the light on. And then what you would do, I'm gonna do this with it off, but you would take your photo and place it on the light box where you want it to be at. I often will take some masking tape and tape my photo down so that way it doesn't move around when I'm trying to work on it because then that will mess up my drawing. It helps to just take a bit of masking tape or t just whatever tape you have um, and you can tape it I usually do like on either side that 
just saves it from moving. And then I also tape my drawing paper, but I usually only tape my drawing paper on one side. That way I can, like if I were to tape it over here, I can lift it up and look underneath to make sure that I'm, you know, doing my lines where I think I'm doing them. So if you do it without the light on, you get your paper over your photograph. And then once you turn the light on, then there is the photographs that you can trace over and get your drawing. And I'm gonna go ahead and tape this top paper over on the side here so that way it's stable but I can still move it if I have the light box turned off and look underneath. Now I have my paper ready. I have my light box ready. I've got my pencil that I'm going to be using. I've got my supplies right where I can grab them at. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also do keep a sharpener, pencil sharpener handy. I just have a little one like this because I do have some sketch pencils that I'll be using also. And so I definitely want to have this nearby where I can grab it. And then we're going to go ahead and get started with the drawing. Thank you. 
so here is my completed light box drawing and I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I hope you enjoyed seeing how you can use a photo, turn it into a drawing with a light box. Why would you want to do this? It could be that you're doing a study for a painting and you want to check the darks and lights or the tones. It could be that you have a favorite photograph and you just want to do an accurate drawing of it. It could be to practice so that you can teach yourself how to see the shapes of the darks and the lights. There's many reasons to use a light box and I find it just fun. I guess I would also say I consider it to be relaxing to do a drawing like this. It allows you to focus and just kind of let your brain go and relax. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If I could talk. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more light box drawings, I'm happy to do those. Just let me know in the comments what you think. And if you would like to see more, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you guys aren't going too crazy out there in the world stuck in your houses if you are an introvert like me then it's really no different than normal life this little turkey has gotten a lot bigger and she's constantly making noises say hi Stella she thinks she can catch birds now so there's that but we hope you're healthy we hope you're doing well we hope you're staying sane in this weird time and I appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!